What do you think about Planet Nine? Do you think it's there? I think it is there. I hope it's there. I think it's there. I certainly hope it is. I miss having a nice planet. <laughs> what does this world look like? How did it develop? What are its features? Why it's so far out as compared to all the others. Even if it's there, if it's not there, just the conversation and what can come out of that is just tremendous. Welcome to Planetary Radio Live. I'm Matt Kaplan of the Planetary Society. So Mike Brown and Constantine Batigan are the Caltech researchers who have pointed the way to a new world, a big one that they call Planet Nine. Can you talk about, if it exists, what characteristics you're more sure that it has and what which ones are, are less well predicted by your paper? This is a object surrounded by a thick hydrogen helium envelope, kind of like Uranus and Neptune. We would be surprised if it didn't have a system of moons. We don't know how far out it goes. We know the close distance pretty well. By close to the sun, we're talking 200 AU. Just for um, comparison, Neptune is at 30 AU. Yeah. The Voyager spacecraft are currently at 100 and 130 AU. And the other thing we know is, is that orientation of the orbit, it has to swing out in the direction that we showed. What kind of calculations went into figuring out there's something out there and it's following roughly this path? Our first models were in really just pencil and paper. Cassini played a part in this unfolding Planet Nine drama. They put in a Planet Nine along with the position of Saturn and tried to minimize any errors or residuals and to try and pinpoint where in its orbit Planet Nine might be. Is there any way to guess at how long the search may take? We've ruled out so much of the sky already. I, I think it'll be two years from now. We'll be sitting here talking about Planet Nine instead of the search for Planet Nine.